Hi, beloveds. How are you today? Uh, let's talk about the whole truth about burnout. So burnout is a very real, very serious issue in our faith communities. Uh, many of us are burned out before the pandemic. So you know, three years into this pandemic, many of us are still that much more stressed out and unhealthy emotionally and physically. Some of us are getting, you know, burned out at both ends, at work and at home. And we may think that burnout is caused by working too hard or not getting up enough uh, downtime, but that is only half of the truth. The truth, the whole truth, <laughs> and nothing but the truth is that in the workplace, there are actually uh, six factors that can cause exhaustion and burnout. And I learned about these from the spring 2022 edition of HR Magazine. In it, they cite psychology professor Christina Maslock from the University of California, Berkeley. And these six factors are, number one, workload or overwork. This is the one we think about most of the time when we think about burnout. It's about uh, high demands and low resources, lack of time, people or equipment to do the job. And then there's control or autonomy. You know, that feeling of having no control over your work. And then also another factor is lack of feedback, um, such as no rewards or recognition when you do a good job. And then also workplace community also impacts, um, impacts burnout. So just think about this. If employees are not getting along or if they're not receiving the support that they need, that is gonna contribute to their feelings of burnout. And then fairness. Fairness is another one. Fairness is about, um, you know, our standards, you know, being applied fairly, you know, across everything. Um, because if they don't feel like things are being fair, that's going to contribute to their burnout. You know, they need to receive equitable treatment in order to feel good. If they don't, it's going to contribute to burnout. All right. And then finally, number six, the last factor is about value or meaning. If we don't feel our work is valued, um, this can increase our susceptibility to burnout. So when any, when any of these are impacting our work or the work of our volunteers and our staff, it's a ripe environment for feelings of depletion and unrest. And so you may notice that yourself or your staff or volunteers, you know, going into fight or flight mode if they're feeling burnout. For example, uh, staff may get defensive or tear easily. Um, and then volunteers may be really firm in their sacred no. So also, notice how only one of these six, that very first one we talked about, only one of those six is actually related to overwork and low resources. Now, many of us think that overwork is the main or only cause of burnout at work. But, you know, this is just not the case. And so strategically, this is a good thing because if burnout within our faith communities and in our workplaces, if it's caused by more than one factor, it also means that there is more than one solution to mitigate it. So then let's take the next step. Let's ask yourself, ask yourself, what am I doing for self-care? Okay. And then also ask yourself, are there any benefits or resources for self-care available at my job that I haven't taken advantage of yet? And now, if you are the one responsible for HR in your community, please you know, reflect on these six factors that we just talked about, these six factors that contribute to workplace burnout. And then ask yourself, as a person who's responsible for HR in your community, ask yourself, what can I do to support my leaders and implementing support and providing resources to our staff and volunteers to manage their stress. That's what you should be asking yourself if you're responsible for HR and your community. Another thing for those in charge of HR and their community, you know, if this video was helpful and you'd like some customized help, you know, I invite you to connect with me today, learn about my HR retainer offering for liberal faith communities and how it can make your job easier and your community more ready to thrive into the future. All right, everyone, take care. See you next time.